Yo, a whole bunch of weird stuff on this page. We're gonna call this relation notation and plotting points on a graph combined. Mostly you're gonna follow my steps exactly for this first slide. So first slide is kind of getting done for you and then for the second and the third slides in this set, you're gonna be working on your own following this model. Let's talk about this function notation first. F of X equals tra tra. Okay, this thing over here is a name. If you ever see something written like this, letter, parenthesis, another letter, equals. This is defining something called a relation. Now you don't need to necessarily memorize that. The main, the main idea is this. I will give you inputs. I will give you X values. Okay, so we see in this chart, I'm gonna give you an X value of zero, one, two, and three. And your job is to take what's on the other side of the equation, replace every X with that value, and get an answer. So for example, we have when X is zero, I'm going to do this. Zero squared, that means zero times zero, minus seven times a zero, plus 12. All of that over 2. Okay, so now you see that at x equals 0, I replaced all of my x's with 0, and then I'm going to solve that equation. Now, of course, for this, 0 times 0 is 0, 7 times 0 is 0, so we lose a lot of information. We really just have to do 12 divided by 2 is 6. f of x is 6. Same kind of thing, moving down again. Now, instead of doing x is 0, I'm going to deal with what if x is 1. Same equation, 1 squared minus 7 times 1 plus 12, all of that divided by 2. So we have 1 times 1 is just 1, minus 7 times 1, we're at negative 6, plus 12, we're at positive 6, divided by 2 is 3. When x is 1, this whole equation equals 3. Third one, what if x is 2? I'm going to use a calculator for this, okay? Uh, instead of doing it in my head, just because I know some of you, rather use a calculator. 2 squared minus 7 times 2 plus 12. All of that divided by 2. Something you're going to want to remember, if you're putting fractions into a calculator, there is an understood parentheses around the numerator answer. And I got my answer. All of that just gave me an answer of 1. Okay, so when x is 2, my relation, my equation equals 1. And last but not least, what if x is 3? We'll have 3 squared, that's 9, minus 7 times 3, that's negative Negative 21 plus 9 is negative 12. Plus 12, okay, is 0. Divided by 2, we have 0 here. Okay, now notice, I didn't write anything for the fourth one. And you actually don't need to write your steps for this particular assignment. You can write your steps on paper if you wish, but you actually are allowed to just use a calculator or your own mind if you're feeling sharp and your answer can look just like this where you have the four final answers for f of x okay show you another example like that g of x we are going what if x is negative five right so i've got two times negative five squared minus fifty all of that divided by 21. If I'm going to use the calculator method, then I don't need to write this purple thing down. I'm just going to start typing in the calculator. 2 times negative 5 squared minus 50. 
Alright, remember, parentheses in the numerator, 2 times negative 5 squared, ooh, my bad, not times 2, squared minus 50, all of that over 21 equals zero. Interesting. Okay, so all my all my purple equations are coming out of zero. When x is negative five, g of x is zero. Same kind of thing. If I switch out this negative five for a negative two, figure out what it is. All right, negative two squared is positive four times 2 is positive 8, minus 50 is negative 42, divided by 21 is negative 2. When x is negative 2, y is negative 2. Or when x is negative 2, the whole equation equals negative 2. What about when we equal positive 2? Alright, when x here is positive 2, we get the same thing. All right. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, minus 50 is negative 42, divided by 21 is negative 2. I wonder if this one also is going to come out the same. Let's see. When x is 5, we've got 2 times 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25, times 2 is 50, 50 minus 50 is 0. Yep about 21 is still zero okay and again you can see I wrote a lot less that time you don't have to be writing out these steps you can just use the calculator or paper and pencil or mental math to get your answers last box what if x is zero negative two negative four for this relation called h of x so we got one and a half times. All right, when x is zero, one and a half times four. 1.5 times four is six. So when x is zero, h, h of x is six. What about if x is negative two? 1.5 times parenthesis, negative two, plus, what, what is it, plus, plus four. Answer, three. And... Last but not least, what if x is negative 4? All right, this one's easy. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0 times anything is just going to give me 0. That is what it takes to fill out these tables. After you have your tables filled out, this is what I'm going to want you to do. The first column in each table represents x. Second column will represent y on the graph. If you remember when we were graphing before, X goes from left to right, Y goes up and down. And we always start at that point right there. Okay, you're going to graph these points on the grid, and then you're going to connect the dots. I'm going to use little uh, circles. When X is 0, F of X is 6. So don't go left or right, just go up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When x is 1, so forward 1, I'm going to go up 3. 1, 2, 3. When x is 2, go, go up 1. So forward 2, up 1. And lastly, when x is 3, don't go up or down at all. 2, 3. Okay, we have ourselves four points from this first table. This first table is blue. I'm going to back up just a little bit so that you can see what I'm pressing, what I'm doing. I'm going to connect these points with a blue curved line. This line tool here, I'm going to choose it. I'm going to change to curve. And then I'm just going to click on each of these dots. One, two, three, four. Double click on the last dot. That'll let me know it's done. 
I would like the lines to be a little thicker. I'm gonna make them eight point on the weight. And if possible, it'd be nice if you change the line color to the color of the box, all right? So we have a blue line there. I'm gonna repeat that process with each of these boxes. So my little circles, negative five, zero. That means go backwards five, one, two, three, four, five. Don't go up or down at all. Negative five, zero. G of negative two. Backwards two, down two. Negative two, negative two. Two, negative two. Is my third point in box J, so forward two, down two. And then five, zero means go forward five. One, two, three, four, five. Don't go up or down at all. Okay, and then we're going to connect those dots with a brown line. So, one, two, three. Double click. Ha, huh. do you know what the picture is going to be already? <laughs> Eight point, bang. All right, one more curve or one more line to go. X is zero, Y is six. So we're going, don't go left or right, just go up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I already have a point there. I'm just going to remember that's part of it. Negative two, three, backwards two, up three. And then lastly, negative four, so backwards four, one, two, three, four, and don't go up or down at all. Connect those three points again with a blue line. Uh, this time, they look like they're in a straight line instead of a curve, but I'll still use the curve tool. It won't make a difference. Double click, eight point thickness, change it to blue. I and you know it's a little sailboat it's not perfect it's not like it's not like super artistic like if you were in art class but little sailboat I'm gonna give this a title just cuz I don't know I like to put a finishing touch on here sailboat that's your first slide it is partially done for you. You gotta follow the video to do the rest of it. Now you will also have these other two to do as well. A little video game scenario and, ooh, I don't know what this is.